Hi all, welcome to JR Games, I'm Robert. Um, just been at the uh, V8 Supercars at Pukekohe Raceway in New Zealand over the weekend. And uh, on Saturday night, it's Monday now, on Saturday night uh, we got back to the hotel and I put dinner on in the kitchen. Uh, walked out of the kitchen and pretty much got taken straight down to the ground with a extreme pain in my knee. As you all know, I've been having problems with my knee over the last few months. Uh, when the recent road, uh, road rash video, I actually had to cut the video short and uh, get up and try to do some exercises and get some extreme pain out of my knee before I could sit down and finish the video. Um, but on Saturday night, it just completely gave way and um, I couldn't get up, I couldn't put weight on it. So off to the emergency room we went, me and my dad. Uh, we got to the uh, local A&E accident and emergency centre, um, the hospital was really far away, so we just went there, it was uh, 9.15 when we got there, and the x-ray place closed at 9, so they couldn't do an x-ray, but the uh, doctor I did end up seeing said he thought I dislocated my knee, uh, and it popped back in before I got there. Uh, it didn't sit right with me because I felt like this was just the same pain as I've been having for the last few months, just much worse. Um, so I decided that um, I would get the x-rays done that he wanted me to get done. The, he said come back first thing in the morning. I said it's not going to work. Um, stupid me decided to go to VA Supercars again on Sunday and uh, had my leg all bandaged up really tight and uh, limped around all day on it, which was probably not good for it. But um, I wasn't missing the V8 Supercars, been looking forward to it all year. Uh, it's the, one of the biggest days on my calendar of the year, going to Pukekohe. I've been every single year since I think it started in 1997, but I uh, wasn't going to miss it. Anyway, we um, went in the night and we got an x-ray done. And um, it turns out that um, after looking at the x-rays and... Uh, doing a bit of play around with a different doctor this time, he thinks my meniscus has gone. Now as you can see on the bottom left of your screen, you can see a uh, cutaway of the leg, and you can see where the two bones, your femur and your tibia, meet together. They meet together and in between is something called the meniscus. And I had no idea what it was until the doctor told me about it, and he said it's like a shock absorber for your kneecap. Uh, for the two bones, the femur and the tibia. Um, it acts as a shock absorber and he thinks mine has been as shot as done. And uh, so if we have a look at um, my leg now, it's all strapped up. I'll pull the bandage down. Oh. The swelling has gone down, as you can see, compared to the other leg. Um, I'm a little bit sunburnt still from yesterday, but um, yeah, it's um, quite sore, just touching it was sore, but um, it comes and goes and from really, really, really 10 out of 10 pain to just dull 1 out of 10 pain, let's um, just try to pull this bandage up with one hand. Oh. I'll just do it after the video. Anyway, um, so yeah, my meniscus is gone. He thinks that the uh, injury could have initially been done years ago, and it's just been deteriorating over years and years and years, and uh, eventually gave way on Saturday night. Um, or it could have just happened recently. Uh, he doesn't know, but he said it could have been up to 10 years ago that it happened. Um, I did injure my knee when I was 15, fell off my bike riding home from school, so that could be what I've done, um, and it's just taken, how old am I now, 28 next month, 13 years to disintegrate, but um, yeah, it's um, going into the specialist on the 20th to get uh, checked out properly. And we will find out on the 20th whether it really is my meniscus or something worse or something not so bad. Let's hope it's not something worse. But um, doctor did say probably going to need surgery. Um, 
but he'll leave that up to the specialist to decide, so not looking forward to that, but if I do do surgery, I'll be stuck at home, and uh, probably doing a lot more videos for you, um, so that's a benefit for all you of our subscribers. So, um, yeah, in quite a bit of pain right now, just taking the standard Panadol and Ibuprofen, um, and uh, soldiering on. So until next time folks, I'll uh, catch you all later and look forward to some more videos coming over the next few days. Uh, peace out y'all, see you later. Bye.